It's your boy Steph. Today's video topic is going to be on how to take the power back in your life and live your best life. It all boils down to this, bro. You have to decide the things that you want to do in your life and the things that you don't want to do in your life. And you have to execute on those goals as, 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 as much as possible. Yes, they are goals. Yes, they are goals. Things that you want to do and things that you don't want to do. For example, you want to take back power in your life in the form of discipline to be more disciplined so you can be in control of your life with more discipline. Well, maybe there needs to be some motivation backed up behind by that discipline. You need you need some motivation behind that because you're just doing it just to be doing it. Right? There has to be a why, but there also has to be a clear goal and a clear understanding on what it is that you want to do and how you can take your your, 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 your life back how you could take the power back in your life you know one of the main reasons why you don't have the power is because you allow other people to steal the power from you for example one of the other one main reasons is you care about what people think imagine waking up every single day going on social media going to your job going to your school going to play basketball with your friends going to go work out going to the store and everywhere you go you're literally focusing on and caring about what people think. So over time, what this does is this builds an, an, a, a social anxiety. And you know, you get you get social anxiety. Not only do you get social anxiety, you get anxiety. And this anxiety and this anxiety comes from because you want you you care about what people think and how people perceive you to be when they're not even paying attention to you. And you need to just be focusing truly 100% on yourself and your craft. Right now, one thing that they do specifically pay attention to is, of course, skincare. Now, y'all know, man, I've been using and taking care of my skincare with T. Tanley. That's why today's video is sponsored by T. Tanley. You see my skin, right? You can tell the effects of the T. Tanley skincare line and all it is is four steps we have a wash that you can use every single day we also have a exfoliator and they have a moisturizer or spf 20 to help with damaging sun rays to your face when you're out in the sun so your skin can stay on glow mode and they have a pm moisturizer you can use to help your skin stay hydrated and silky and smooth at nighttime. g hella reviews on why the products are super good and you can see my face you can see me you see how i'm looking it comes with an instruction card too so you ain't looking lost like oh, what am i doing you got an instruction card to know exactly what to do step by step with pictures and because tease henley is sponsoring today's video they're offering my viewers a great deal just click the link in the description and you'll get 30 percent off your first box plus a free gift don't miss out on this amazing deal click that link and get started today you got it, man. You can't you can't really care about what people think, bro. That's going to that's going to really take the power back in your life, bro. Every day you wake up, G, you caring about what he say, you caring about what she say, you caring about what he say. Your breath smell like dookie, man. Your skin care is all over the place, bro. You ain't got no you ain't got your own crib, bro. Like you you your your focus, bro, is the is 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 all over the place. And that's another thing we want to talk about, man. Focus. You know, it's funny um, I was uh, talking to one of my, you know, supporters and, you know, I went in subscribers that I seen in the gym and, you know, he wanted to ask me some sort of questions, man. And I had to tell him, bro, you know, bro, you're, you're, you're not focused, man. Um, I watch you every day, bro. And you're not focused, bro. You walk back and forth. Shit, the bathroom, not even back here. You walking back here towards the woman's bathroom, bro. The women's bathroom up here, bro. You're not focused, bro. You're not you're not focused. And and what happens is when you're not focused, how could you how could you have the power in your life? How could you live your best life if you're not focused? You can't live your best life if you're not focused because you're distracted by things that's taking you off your focus. You can't live your best life if you're caring about what people think because you can't do the things that you're supposed to do to get to a certain level where you're supposed to be. But you can't get there because you care what people think. So now we're caring about what people think. 
we lack that focus. Last thing, bro, is drive. You don't have the drive to want to eliminate the excuses out your life. Drive and excuses go hand to hand. You got to have the drive and the desire to get rid of the excuses out your life. So what are the excuses that you keep on telling yourself? Oh, I'm too tired to wake up at 5 a.m., man. Oh, I don't want to do my skincare routine twice a day, bro. That's too much work. Oh, man, I don't want to work these 12-hour, 16-hour shifts. That's just too much. I ain't, I ain't finna be doing all that. Man, I ain't finna be weighing out my food and calculating how many calories and drinking all that water. Man, I'ma just stick to drinking alcohol, bro, and smoking weed all day. Man, smoking weed don't slow you down, bro. Your focus, dog. See, when you're not focused, bro, you lie to yourself. And when you're not in control of your life, other people control your life. Other people control your emotions. Other people dictate how you're gonna feel because you don't have no power over your life. The moment you have power over your life, that is when you start to see the reverse signs. So you start to see people shame you for being more of yourself. You start to see people hating on you for being more of yourself. You start to see people throw slugs at you for being more of yourself. You start to people to start to want to do what you do. Because you're holding yourself to a high standard, you're focused, you're determined, and you're not losing any kind of sight on what you want your goals to be. You have a clear understanding on what it is that you want to do. And most of all, bro, this is the coldest one. You don't care what people think. I promise y'all, bro, that's a, that's a game changer right there, bro. Walking around your, your life Caring about what people think, bro, is really, really, really going to suck the life and the energy out of you every single time. You don't want to walk around this life caring about how people, what people think about you unless it's your supporters and your family, and your loved ones. Everybody else are random, bro. You can't, you, you can't let that because if you let it get to you, that means you're a weak person. You're weak emotionally. And you can't be cold being weak, G. You can't get to the top being weak. You can't you can't get to where you say you want to be and you taking excuses. In order for you to build that skill set, you have to do that with what you have to do what's in that skill set. So the skill set is to focus. You have to do things and habits that are gonna make you focus. Start waking up earlier. Don't get on your phone right away. Meditate, you know what I'm saying? Go to the gym. You know what I'm saying? Have a plan. Write in your calendar at night before. This is what I do. I write in my calendar at night before what I'm going to do. Content I'm going to make. Everything is scheduled in, in place and I have this focus. Make sure you have a great support system. You know what I'm saying? How many of y'all is dating women or got a girlfriend, man? It ain't helping y'all with the business. It's not helping y'all with the vision. It's not helping y'all add value to the life. That's that's not, you're, how can you focus if you have that kind of partner in your life? You can't focus, G. You can't focus. You can't get to the next level. You can't take back the power in your life and live your best life. You can't live your best life because things are pulling you back and pulling you behind. If you want to live your best life, you can't care about what they think. If you want to live your best life, you have to stay focused on your goals. If you want to live your best life, you have to have a clear vision, a clear understanding. And if you want to focus and if you want to live your best life and focus on your life, you got to have focus. No distractions. I mean that. I mean, focus, no distractions. If you really want to live your best life, man, stop chasing these three old foes. I know you like them. I know you like them big cheeks back there. I know you like how good she look. Does she like you, though? She don't like you. You know she don't like you. That's why you chasing her. And you know that's why you not focused, because she don't like you. You trying to chase her and try to understand why she don't like you when you shouldn't be understanding why you not where you need to be in your life, G. That's just what it is. Check out the next clip. Just something I want to share, like, what's your why, bro? That's something that you got to figure out within yourself. You got to figure out your why. You got to figure out, you know what I'm saying, the things that you really want to do and what motivates you. What motivates you? What's your why? What's the reason why you do what you do? And can you stick to that? Can you stick to that why long term? 
You know, one of my wives is my mom. You know what I'm saying? Ever since high school, man, I used to watch my mom wake up in the morning, go to her job. Before she'd go to her job, I was going to Homestead High School my freshman and sophomore, going into my junior year. She would have to drive all the way to Mequon, drop me off at school, and then drive all the way to Brookfield to go to work every single day, Monday through Friday. You know what I'm saying? So as a result of that, you know what I'm saying, I knew how much she sacrificed for me and the things that she's willing to do to put in that work so me and my twin can be straight. What are you willing to do so you and your family can be straight? What's the reason why you wake up in the morning? What's the reason why you go to work? What's the reason why you working overtime? Because I promise you, if you had that why, bro, the vision, can be so strong, bro, and the action is definitely gonna put into place because that why is pushing you, it's making you way better and stronger. Watching my mama struggle, G, I can never be broke. I can never be in an opportunity where I don't have the ability to make income to surpass my expectations and take care of my family. But that's depending on me and my work ethic. What's your purpose? Do you get up in the morning and you check your phone right away and hit that blunt? I'm done with weed, bro. Shit, I, got, I did a video three years ago telling people why I don't smoke. Then I tried it out all last year. And I noticed like my progression slowed down. My hunger for more slowed down. My brain and my thought process slowed down because the weed was slowing me down. Now, you can lie to yourself and say, oh, it didn't slow me down, so I'm gonna continue to do it. That's cool, bro. <laughs> but Stefan, Steph is cold, has bigger dreams and aspirations. And I want to go a higher level and become my best self. And that requires a sort of, some sort of sacrifice. And unfortunately, you're gonna have to do without the things that bring you down. And one of them is marijuana. Now, there's nothing wrong with, you know what I'm saying? Doing it with your friends or doing it every once in a while but you're not gonna be your most productive self, bro, when you're doing it every day. That's a fact. Don't argue with me, argue with God. What's your motivation, bro? What's the purpose, man? What's the why? You gotta get it, bro. Take care of your family, get money, repeat. Take care of your family, get money, repeat. Take care of your family, get money, and repeat. That's it, bro. That's, that's, that's all there is to do. That's all there is to do. It's a good feeling, man, when you can do things for your loved ones. But that requires you to be at a certain position in your life. You can't help others unless you help yourself. And the process of helping yourself is sacrificing and having that, that burning deep down desire on why you're doing what you're doing. What's my motivation? Why I wake up early in the morning? I gotta take care of my mom, G. I got my, my mom counting on me, bro. My mom counting on me, bro. Nobody else, G. And that ain't no offense to the people that's in my family, my G. I'm like Spencer. I'm the last hope. I'm like Spencer Dutton in this bitch. I'm the last hope, you feel me? Shit. If I don't grind, we don't eat. That's my why. What's your why? Are you going to eat regardless if you grind or not? That's why you're not going to grind. What's the hunger level like? Do you earn things or do you have things given to you? Because when things are just given to you, you don't appreciate the grind because you didn't have to earn it. What's the grind level like, man? And what's your purpose and what's your why, bro?
That's that. That's just that's just what it is, bro. That's how I'm feeling this morning. You gotta do things that people are not willing to do to get to the next level. 2019, 2020, I was walking in this neighborhood, bro, manifesting. Shit, I'm 22. I was tw I was 21. You know what I'm saying? There's some of y'all, you know, you still living with your mama at 21. Or you in college at 21. You know what I'm saying? And you probably ain't got it figured out. I ain't got it figured out yet neither, bro. Ain't nothing wrong with that. The only difference between me and you is my mindset, G. Go to school, bro. Go to school and learn that. Learn that experience. Learn, get that education, my G. Create, create great circle of influence of friends that you meet in college, bro. But that mindset, bro, that mindset got to have a goal. And those goals have to have habits. And if you're not doing those daily habits to get to that desired goal, you're not going to get to that desired goal. So what's your grind like? How bad do you want it? You gonna wait for your, you gonna wait for your coach to say, oh man, you got you could man, you gotta get shots up. Are you getting shots up? Are you shooting in the gym? Or are you waiting for people to tell you, you need to be shooting in the gym? This game is cold, bro. And it feels so cold being a man because everything that you can get in this life and you obtain, it's like an RPG game. You earn it. And you will have that right to brag and be cocky and be arrogant and confident because you earned that shit. It's a little bit different. Not a woman, it's just not given to you. So what's the grind like? What motivates you? I'm not gonna complain, cause I already know if we complain, we stay the same. So ain't no point in complaining. Ain't no point in complaining about the hardships. That just make the story so much colder and so much better. Don't matter if he came from a silver spoon or he came from a gold spoon, don't matter. I came from neither of those. That just makes my story so much more colder when I make it. That just makes your story so much more colder when you make it. I manifested this. This neighborhood. Now I'm living in it. Young black man from the streets, from the hood of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Walking in the suburbs of Austin, Texas. All because he put his pride to the side, he sacrificed, and he put that work in. People always want to know, man, what's the secret? Ain't no secret, G. Shout out to Brandon Carter. I seen something on his Instagram this morning. Pretty much what he said was, consistency beats everything. When you show up every day, bro, when you show up and you be consistent every day, bro, bro, you're going to be tough. You're gonna get results. And best of all, you're gonna be a cold motherfucker. Don't forget to like my video, man. Comment, subscribe. Holla back at your boy.